Surveillance video shows a motorized scooter nearly collide with a man pulling into his driveway in South Park. The near miss comes as the city begins considering new measures aimed at public safety. As 10 News reporter Michael Chen found out, at least one scooter company is willing to pay its share. We have heard the term Wild West when it comes to dock the scooters. Well, now some first steps toward a bit of law and order. Around four in the afternoon Tuesday. I was just coming back from the uh, the gym. Michael Taki was in his Tesla arriving home when he slowed for just a moment to press the button for his gate. Initially turning the driveway, I heard this really just loud screeching. It's hard to hear, but you can hear that screech on his ring video just as a teen about 13 years old was riding a motorized scooter. He was moving at a pretty high rate of speed. On the sidewalk without a helmet on a collision course with Taki's car. When the teen tries to stop, briefly loses control and falls off before riding away. If I hadn't stopped, paused, and just pulled my driveway, it might have been a different story. He, he could have been hurt really bad. The rider was under 18, without a helmet, and on the sidewalk, all against the law. But how to enforce it? This video sent to 10 News shows two people on a scooter crashing over the side of the boardwalk to avoid a child. The City Council Budget Committee today weighing ideas aimed at public safety. One idea, new fees for scooter companies. I'm concerned that if we don't do something, we're going to end up where we are with Airbnb, where many years have gone by and we have done nothing. Councilmember Bree says one scooter company has suggested a dollar per scooter per day to help pay for things like education and police enforcement. Taki says something needs to be done. It's a matter of time before somebody's going to get hurt badly. Michael Chen, 10 News.